Cookie Monster. How are you? We are the USC Minds and Development Lab. We're in the psychology department and we study children's cognitive development. So we really want to know how children come to understand the world, but especially we want to know how they come to understand people. So we have a lot of undergraduates working in the lab. They run the studies, they actually conduct the experiments. I decided to do a study on future thinking in kids. And it's really exciting because it's the first time that I've sort of come up with an experiment myself. We're testing whether or not kids have the ability to plan for a future event. So this is commonly termed episodic foresight. What did we need? I forgot to draw the ball. A ball. So we're seeing right now a pretty strong age difference. So our four-year-olds are pretty bad at it and our five-year-olds are nailing it. So, um, so it's pretty exciting. We're interested in the question when and how children can think about what might have been or what could have been the case had they done something differently than they actually did. So we have participants play this computerized matching game where they're incentivized to have the card they chose match a reference card. They lose an incentive if the card they chose did not match. And so we also give them the option to replay every single round. Through this redo button, we're able to determine whether five-year-olds feel regret, because in order to feel regret, you have to be able to process that there is an alternate reality, and in fact, this reality would be better favorable to the current reality. That's where we might see regret, where they think, oh no, I should have chosen the other card, right? Working with Professor Mole has been so rewarding. She's a really great mentor and has helped me a lot to think analytically about problems. So during our lab meetings and stuff, we will discuss and critique articles. You're building off of other people's work and it's this whole creative process. To understand how things go wrong in the mind, we really at first have to understand the mind in its normal way of operating and functioning, and that's what we really study. So clinical psychology is, in a way, based on this knowledge that we here generate. I'm not just learning this so I can learn. I'm learning for myself and then contributing to kind of a greater literature that can then influence other people and what they choose to research. I think it's been a really amazing way to learn about psychology.